of Virginia, but once it came over the mountains, it just completely dried out and now continues to do so. We're actually seeing some sunshine out there right now, but take a look. We do have one shower. Uh, this shower, uh, an area of showers that has developed along the, the uh, I-50 area. This is right around Bowie and Crofton here. This is moving right across the Patuxent River in towards Anne Arundel County. Just a, a heavy downpour. This is right around the airport out there around the uh, Bowie region down to the south, though. Very heavy rain now. Southern St. Mary's County in towards parts of the northern neck. That's the only real uh, player in the game as far as strong storms go. We do have a severe thunderstorm watching effect until 10 o'clock. I was a little surprised they put it out for our area because we I just didn't think we would see it and we're not seeing it right now. You can see where the strongest storms are down around Norfolk and Virginia Beach. More back to the west and take a look at these numbers. High temperature today 83 degrees, but where we've seen the clouds and the rain only in the 70s back towards the west. We will see a different day tomorrow. The heat, the humidity build back in. We see a slight chance of a storm, but Amelia, even tomorrow we're not talking Talking about widespread storms. Yeah, we're only putting the risk tomorrow at about 30%, but it is one of those days where if you see a thunderstorm bubble up in your area, the heat and humidity, among other factors, could lead to some very heavy rainfall and some gusty winds. So with the heat and humidity tomorrow, how to break out the ice tea meter. Yes, new for the summer. We're near 90 tomorrow. So with that, you want to be reaching for the extra large iced tea. I'm going unsweetened. I don't know about you, Doug. Sweet, unsweetened? Uh, Splenda. Uh, uh, extra. Yeah. Ooh, yeah okay. Stevia, actually. Yeah, ugh. Uh, okay. Anyways, as we look to <laughs> Friday and Saturday, a large iced tea out there. Temperatures are in the 80s. Sunday, it might be a hot tea kind of day with temperatures only in the 70s and rain in the forecast. Now, if you're getting out in the garden tomorrow, the weather, for the most part, going to cooperate, especially earlier. We'll have plenty of clouds. It's warm and it's humid, but 71 is 7 a.m. 84 at noon and again maybe a few isolated thunderstorms out there during the afternoon and early evening hours but a high temperature of 88 it's also mosquito season out there so the experts at Maryfield Garden Center tell us to control mosquitoes by el eliminating sources of standing water if you can't do that you want to use a mosquito dunk in bird baths and puddles those are pet and people friendly as we look to the weekend of course it's pride here in DC weather for the parade is looking great and then we have the festival out there on Sunday, Doug. Right now we're thinking about a 60% chance of showers on Sunday. 84 on Saturday, only 77 out there on Sunday. Yeah, a little worried about that Sunday forecast because it is looking rainier. Or We had the rain on on in Monday. We took it out yesterday, but I still mentioned a chance of rain on, on Sunday. A little worried about it. And then today, yeah, it's right back into the forecast. Take a look. 88 tomorrow with that 30% chance of showers. 83 degrees on Friday, Saturday, 84 and nice. It is a, a, a Pride weekend. That's why we've got that NBC Peacock there. 77 degrees on your Sunday with that good chance of rain. Another chance of rain on Monday and probably into Tuesday morning. Guys, this is actually from a tropical system that's now making its way on shore. It's going to create an, uh, a bigger area of low pressure in the parts of the southeast, kind of meander around our region right on into early next week. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. Well, a lot of people feel overworked and in need of vacation, but it turns out uh, they're using that spare time to do side jobs. Bankrate.com found nearly half, 45% of U.S. workers say they earn extra income on the side, and millennials have the highest number of side hustles. Bankrate survey found these side jobs can earn an average of $1,100 a month, but a vast majority say they make less than 500. And of course, it depends on the kind of work you're doing. And what I thought was interesting about this is that 27%, almost a third of the people that they surveyed, yeah. said that they love their side hustle more than their main job. Than their main job. Probably an so interesting You got a side field. hustle, right. your passion. Like you're a cobbler. Yeah. A lot of people you know, don't know I, that. I, and I, I sell I soup to nuts. I want to nuts. be a, a cobbler. <laughs> yes. Actually, I just want to be that a cherry dream. cobbler. <laughs> All right, well, it is a new way coming up next to help survivors of sexual assault mm. heal. We're talking about using therapy dogs. And new at 6 o'clock, we're going to meet this little guy. Uh, He's the newest member of the team at the D.C. Superior Court. Isn't he sweet? Closed captioning brought to you by Belfort, Washington's largest furniture and mattress store. When we say weather alert day, we're alerting you earlier on every one of your screens. And let's take a look at Storm Team 4 radar. Utilizing our one-of-a-kind radar, keeping you ahead of the storm. Constantly updating whenever you need us until the threat is over. So when you see this image, Storm Team 4 is working for you. Okay, have fun at your dad's. Okay, love you, Mom. Hi. What do you think? I like it. Ta -da. Come on, got him! Yes. You hungry? Yeah. All right.